invite you to join in some Qigong movement with Tai Chi principles, some breathing, opening, clearing. So we'll start by just shaking. So soften the joints, let the shoulders, everything dissolve down into the ground and be aware of your feet. So in meditation practice, our attention and awareness goes up. And when we're in our body, we want to be grounded. So we want to feel the body connecting with the earth as well as with the sky going up. Okay, so next we'll do a swing. So lift the hands, lower the hands, breathing in, breathing out. So let the sacrum keep sinking to the ground as you're raising the spine up to the sky. So shoulders stay sunk, hips stay sunk, joints stay soft. Okay, next we're going to do a side swing. So we want to keep the space between our legs open. Keep the knees over the feet. So rotate the torso from the bottom, the abdomen, on top of the hips. Let the arms swing freely. So we're not leading with the arms, we're leading with the bottom part of the torso. So everything above the sacrum of the spine lifts up and at the same time we're dissolving down. So nose, chin, chest, shoulders, elbows, hips, knees, all sink down through the feet. So really feel your feet like squishy on the ground. Okay, so the next is forward and backward. So we're using here to move the upper body. So it's not being initiated again by the hands. It's by the hips lightly going forward. If this is too much to go against the thighs, you can just do it next to the side. But each time you go back and forth, feel the shoulders dissolve more and the spine lift. So you're creating more space in the spine, up through the neck, into the head and up through the crown. Okay, so the next one is crossing the chest, opening. So the shoulder blades really move, closing when you open and open when you're crossing the chest. Again, we want to keep the joints soft because anytime you lock the joints, you're blocking energy and resisting and it also blocks the adjacent joints. We want to keep the synovial fluid flowing freely, lubricating the joints, letting the energy travel throughout the body unobstructed. Okay, so next one we're going to do a shifting of the weight to one leg keeping the hips level, shoulders on top of hips, and then you're going to lift one knee, and then put down the foot, and then weight to that leg, lift the knee. So when we put down the foot, we're still keeping our weight on this leg, so we're stable the whole time, so we're not lurching onto that leg. And you can also lift the wrists when you lift the knee. Again, the hips are staying level, shoulders level. We're allowing gravity to work for us. You can coordinate your breathing in these moves or you can use natural breathing. 
the important thing is that we get out of the usual stress response breath of being up in the chest only, short, quick, like panting breaths. These are long, slow breaths that give a signal to the body to relax. Okay, so the next one is row the boat. So again, for the shoulders, since a lot of us have tight shoulders, work at desks all day. So close the shoulder blades and then open coming up and over and again, leaving the joint soft, shoulder tops don't come up, they stay down. Again, sacrum keeps sinking down. Feel your feet. Let the energy travel up the spine through the crown. Okay, next one, holding the ball. So we're gonna put the weight on one foot. We're gonna rotate on top of that foot without letting the knee waver. Stays facing forward. This hip stays level as we lift the heel of that foot. At the same time, that same hand as the heel is up, goes up and we're rotating it, looking into the palm. So it lowers when the weight goes to this foot. So again, shoulders stay sunk. We're using the body to lift the hand. So as much as we can make the movement originate from the base of the body, the more energy we create in the whole body. When you move the lower body, it generates a lot more energy in the upper body than if you just move the upper body and not the lower body. Okay, now we're gonna Close, bringing the energy, following with our hands up to the third eye, coming down the center line to the lower abdomen, then gathering energy into the lower abdomen, which is called the Dantian. So from our mind, relax the eyes back to the optic nerve. So really soften the eyes. Neutralize the eyes, soften all the muscles, the joints, the jaw, the temples. Everything releases. Dissolve the chest down. Keep lifting the spine up. That's the yin yang quality. Always balanced. And then from the third eye, Bring the energy down in front of the spine to right behind the hands. Feel the body, mind, intellect, everything being harmonious. So space here and in between the armpits and the neck being open helps to make the whole body coherent makes it work together in harmony. Thank you. Bomb shut.